Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to talk for a few minutes about Game Builder Garage. This is not a scripted video, so my apologies if I'm not particularly articulate. But this is uh, this is what I've been working on in the game. I finished the uh, all of the guided lessons, and I've been building this little world here. It's just a little little section of a cityscape. I've put a fair bit of work into the textures on the buildings, even though, like, you know, this is a very simple texture here. The bricks are pretty simple, but the windows and the sliding glass doors with the reflection lines on them took more time and effort, and then I've got this, uh, this pixelated sign up here on the mall. I've got some invisible walls here because there aren't really any buildings beyond this little area, so I wanted to have invisible walls to stop the player from going out of this little area and breaking the illusion completely. But I'm pretty pleased with how it looks. I've got parking spots and, of course, the car fancy objects over here. Some more parking spots over here. Hmm. Didn't realize that these wheels were going into each other. I intentionally made one car kind of skewed to the side, but I didn't realize that they were overlapping like that, so I'm going to have to fix that. And yeah, so the game's going to start here, and you're just told to go into the mall, and now I just have to program it so that going into the mall will actually load up the next area, which I have yet to build. This is just showing off the little area that I've built so far because I'm, you know, quite proud of how it looks. Um, <laughs> these doors are used a lot. You see the, the black door on the brick building and the brown door on the uh, on the white building. They're, they're the same door except, you know, the base color of the the box object is different. Here you can see up close. So I think the, the, the texture editor is pretty good. It's, it's quite a lot of fun actually designing, like especially this window over here, where I actually tried to uh, make some things behind the window as well as like stripes of uh, reflected light going across the window. And put some, some little flags in there. So yeah, that's about all that I have here. There's not really anything to do in this game. This is essentially just the intro. The main game itself is going to take place inside the mall, but like I said, I have to build the interior of the mall. It's going to be a series of different stores that you go through, and uh, there is actually going to be combat. It's going to be a first-person shooter. Speaking of first-person, I should mention, I did not know how to get the first-person camera and movement working correctly. And uh, so I looked it up online, and I found a helpful video by a YouTuber called Young Text. The video is called Game Builder Garage FPS and Camera Tutorial Game Dev After Dreams PS4. Uh, I didn't actually watch the whole video, but uh, I did watch part of it, and it was quite helpful in learning how to get started with a first-person uh, camera and movement scheme. Uh, basically, uh, that, that video is what showed me how I'm supposed to actually uh, connect the camera note on, the basic camera note on, to the person note on, and make the person transparent and all of that. Before then, I had been trying to connect, um, well, I'd been trying to use the advanced cameras, so shout out to Young Text for, for uh, making that tutorial video and showing me how to get started with uh, the basics of first-person game design. But yeah, I didn't watch the whole thing because I wanted to figure out some of it myself. But yeah, it was his video was a helpful starting point, so I'd recommend checking it out to learn the basics of uh, first-person game design in this program. And now I just want to quickly show you... Let's see here. Yeah, I want to show off these... Um, the actual combat mechanics for the game. So there's a health system on the gun. And uh, as you can see, there are colored blobs basically on the side of the gun. And whenever you touch an alien, uh, not if the gun touches it though, but if the actual person note on touches an alien, then the health on the side of the gun goes down. And if it goes all the way down, give me a second, then you die. And um, yeah, and picking up an apple will restore a point of health. So apples are going to be my health restoration item, and I'm going to have more enemies than just aliens, but this is just, you know, the basics to work out the system for how health is going to go up and down and how the shooting is going to work. So, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this. Um, 
not really a level, this is just a void here for me to practice the mechanics, but uh, hopefully soon I'll actually have a level where the aliens are doing something a little more interesting in an interesting setting and you can blast your way through. So again, uh, shout out to Young Text for making that video that helped me get started with all of this uh, first person shooter game design that was very helpful. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get really creative with the levels, uh, more so than anything else. I just want to make like an aesthetically interesting world for players to go through. And I will be posting this. By the time the video is up, the uh, my game code will probably be online as well. If you want to check out that first little area, there's not really anything to do. But if you just want to walk up and down that one little street here and uh, parking the game. I will post the code for this in the comments, I guess, and uh, also on Twitter. So thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I will post some updates about this little project soon. Uh, yeah, take care, and have a great, well, I'm going to say have a great weekend. I don't know when you're watching this, obviously, but, you know, it's Thursday. It's not even the weekend for me. That's, that's a terrible sign out. Have a great weekend on a Thursday. No, I'm going to stick with it. Have a great weekend. Bye.